today we are going to discuss a very important concept of three dimensional coordinate geometry direction cosines and direction ratios as in the quad two dimensional coordinate geometry we use two mutually perpendicular straight lines as reference lines to locate a point here in the case of three dimensional coordinate geometry we use three mutually perpendicular straight lines as reference lines known as x axis y axis and z axis in this figure ox is x axis oy is y axis and oz is z axis though it is quite difficult to understand uh, three dimensional coordinate geometry concept because this is impossible to draw a three dimensional coordinate three dimensional uh, concept on a two dimensional plane so we need to imagine something in this space to understand it completely now let us consider this model which i have made to facilitate the students to understand this concept so this is the three dimensional coordinates concept these three mutually perpendicular straight lines are three axis this is y axis this is x axis and this is z axis and this these three mutually perpendicular straight lines these pair wise these are perpendicular to each other now this is the line oa as we have shown in the figure in green with the green green color oa is a straight line this is this is straight line. actually this is not on the plane zox but in the space making some angle with the x axis some angle with the y axis and some angle with the z axis so suppose oa makes alpha angle alpha with x axis and beta with the y axis and gamma with z axis so oa makes angles alpha beta and gamma with x axis y axis z axis then alpha beta gamma are called direction angles of oa and the cosines of these direction angles that is cos alpha cos beta cos gamma are called direction cosines of oa generally direction cosines are denoted by a small l m and n respectively so cos alpha is equal to l cos beta is equal to m and cos gamma is equal to n now let us talk about direction ratios which is also very important concept very closely close closely related to direction cosines so direction cos ratios are the three numbers proportional to the direction cosines of a straight line are called direction ratios of the line suppose direction cosines of a line are 1 upon 2 1 upon root 2 and 1 upon 2 so we may multiply these three direction cosines by any number or we may divide these three three numbers by any number the resulting numbers must have the same proportion suppose we have multiplied these direction cosines by 2 so we have 1 under root 2 comma 1 One under root two one. These are direction ratios. Now we may multiply these three numbers by any other number, say three. 
So 3, 3 root 2, comma 3, these are also direction ratios because these three numbers will also have the same proportion as direction cosines. Similarly, we may multiply or divide these three numbers by any numbers. The resulting numbers must be direction ratios. So here we have divided these three direction ratios by two again. So the resulting numbers are again direction ratios because these three numbers have the same proportion as the direction cosines. So any three numbers which have same proportion as the direction cosines are called direction ratios. So we came to the conclusion that direction cosines are unique but the direction ratios are infinite. direction ratios are infinite. Now, an important relation between direction cosines of a straight line. So, let L, M, N be direction cosines of a straight line. Then, L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. This is extremely important re uh, relation which is very frequently used in the study of three-dimensional coordinate geometry. So now, let us prove it. So let us consider a state line PQ. Let a line PQ makes angles alpha, beta and gamma with x-axis, y-axis and z-axis respectively. Then first let us draw a straight line OA parallel to PQ. So the OA will make the same angles with the x-axis, y-axis and Z axis. So if PQ makes an angle alpha with the x axis, OA will also make an angle alpha with the x axis. And if it makes, if the length of PQ is R, the length of OA must also be R. So, we have done OA just equal to PQ and parallel to itself. Now let the coordinate of A be x1, y1, z1. Let us drop a perpendicular from A to OX. Let it be L. So this is a right angle triangle. O, L, A is a right angle triangle. And if the coordinate of A are x1, y1, z1, so O, L must be equal to x1. because OL is the projection of OA on x-axis. Now, cos alpha is equal to OL upon OA. In the right angle triangle OLA 
cos alpha is equal to OL upon OA. So OL is X1 and OA is R. So cos alpha is equal to X1 upon R. Similarly, cos beta is equal to y1 upon r and cos gamma is equal to z1 upon r. So L square plus M square plus N square is equal to cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma. So putting these values of cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma here in this expression we have x1 square upon r square plus y1 square upon r square plus z1 square upon r square. So taking r square as common LCM we have in the numerator x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square upon r square as LCM. Now since r is the distance between the points OA. So by the distance formula, since the coordinates of OB 0, 0, 0, by distance formula, r is equal to under root x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square. So squaring both sides we have r square is equal to x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square. So this expression x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square is equal to r square. So we may replace this expression by r square. We have r square upon r square. Cancelling as r square by r square we have 1. So we have proved l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1. Now here we are going to discuss how to convert direction ratios into direction cosines because in the study of three dimensional coordinate geometry in some of the situations this is very necessary to convert direction ratios into direction cosines. So let ABC are the direction ratios of a straight line then in order to convert them into direction cosines we need to divide each and every direction ratio by root of the sum of the squares of direction ratios. Again, to convert direction ratios into direction cosines, we need to divide each direction ratio by root of the sum of the squares of the direction ratios. So if L, M, N are direction cosines. So L is obtained by dividing A by root A square plus B square plus C square Similarly M is obtained by dividing B by the same expression under root a square plus b square plus c square. 
and finally n is equal to c upon under root a square plus b square plus c square so this is how we convert direction ratios into direction cosines